Welcome back to Fool Us. Play along with Pen and Teller and try to figure out this next trick. My name is Christoph. I'm a mentalist from Nuremberg, Germany. I started magic when I was a little boy, but it wasn't actually until I got to university where my major was psychology that I realized that I can put down the cards and use people's minds to fool them. Mentalists have a problem that other types of magicians don't have. People think what we're doing is real. I have people coming up to me after almost every show asking me to read their palm or tell them their future. No matter what I say, they keep asking. There's a famous saying in the magic world, for those who believe, no explanation is necessary, and for those who don't, none will suffice. Pen, teller, don't believe what you're about to see. Let's go on a road trip to Germany for the magic of Christoph Kuch. Hello, Penn. Hello, Teller. I think part of what makes you so successful is your unique approach to a double act. One of you talks, one of you doesn't. So please accept this as a sincerest form of flattery. Allow me to introduce you to my silent partner, Silent Me. <laughs> Like Teller, Silent Me is not going to speak for the duration of this effect, which means that Silent Me cannot interrupt me at all. <laughs> this is a good feeling, right? Pen? Yeah. All right, let's begin our little fool us game. And speaking of games, you may not know this, but German children are obsessed with games about what they will be when they grow up. Three of my favorites are mein erster Job, was werde ich sein, and Berufera. Allison, please name one of the games. Uh, mein erster Job. <laughs> Very interesting. That's exactly what Silent Me predicted we would play. <laughs> to play, we need a volunteer. Please join us on stage. Hello, stranger. Are you ready to play a game with a mute guy and a video recording? Excellent. Silent Me will now show you some cards. A different profession is written on each card. For example, secret agent, combat diver, undertaker, and so on. In most of these professions, you make a lot more money than a magician. <laughs> Dear Spectator, please take the cards and shuffle them thoroughly. Thank you. Put the cards on Silent Me's hand, cut them any way you want, and tell everybody what profession is written on your card. It's astronaut. Okay. Silent Me, please take the cloth of your head and show us your prediction. <laughs> Silent Me has predicted two random choices in a row. Can he do one more? The odds of getting three right is astronomical. <laughs> Dear audience member, the Silent Me will now hand you a die. Please roll the die and without looking, put your hand on top of it. On this table, you see six objects. For the first time, please look at your die and let everybody know what number you have rolled by pure chance. Um, the number is free. And now please tell us the object that corresponds to that number. It's a fish. Oh, very interesting. Silent Me, please reveal your final prediction.
Hi, how are you? Good, how's that fish? <laughs> He's fine, actually. Oh, thank goodness. This is the first trick that I've seen where a magician performs with himself. You find yourself easy to work with? Well, we had some arguing uh, during rehearsals, but, you know, I, I was pretty satisfied with myself, <laughs> yes. So you won a world championship. Did that change your career? Yes, it did. That's actually when I went professional after that, uh, because I got a huge media coverage here in Germany. So that's when I changed my hobby to actually be a professional mentalist. What would it mean to you if you did win a trophy? Uh, it would actually mean a lot to me because it has always been my dream to perform in front of Penn Teller. I would be very happy, very surprised and very excited. All right, let's see if Penn and Teller have the mental powers to figure out how you did your trick. Christoph, what a weird ass act. <laughs> Thank Just you very much. Just a weird ass act. Controlling people like a Svengali, it's just uh, so strange. Kind of a 2001 a Space Odyssey, there's this sterile white room and then there's this, this weird astronaut and uh, other German people coming in and picking <laughs> cards and throwing dice and David Lynch surreal, crazy whack job. That's what you are. <laughs> And then there's a magic trick in there as well. Uh, I think I've given you a little hint on some of this. We just love the act. It was fabulous. Love the fish out of your mouth at the end. Love all of that. Love two of you. One on video, one, uh, one live. As you know, uh, there are judges that listen to everything we say. We have a very elaborate plan for how we think you did it. And um, we think we're right. But I don't want to try to give code or any of that. So we're going to go and see if the judges think that we're right or whether you fooled us. We think we have it, but it's too complicated to try to tell you uh, across the Atlantic. So uh, what do the judges say? All right. And I'm hearing from them now. And they are telling me you fooled them. No way. Yes. No way. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, great. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable! Oh we thought god. we had it. One. Oh my god! I can't believe it. You fooled Penn and Teller. You're doing Thank such you a trophy much. as me. Okay, give it up for Christoph Gooch. Thank you. Good night. Nice to be done. One. Thank you. Oh. Penn and Teller just took their best shot and missed. Now we have to take a time out. More Fool Us after this. Who thought I could fool them with a goldfish? If you like what you saw, please comment below. And if you want to find out more about my journey to Fool Us, subscribe to my channel now. See you soon.